Hello friends, welcome to Cloudby. In today's sessions, uh, I'm going to discuss the migration technique from MongoDB to Amazon DocumentDB. Yeah, uh, the, uh, here here are the different installation procedures I'm going to discuss today. Uh, the first procedure it is offline method uh, using Mongo dump and Mongo restore, and the second one it will be online method using this uh, DMS. So uh, first uh, we'll be discussing about this offline migration approach. The offline migra migration approach uh, you can uh, see the uh, this picture so uh, I am at first I am going to install the MongoDB uh, service MongoDB source in EC2 machine inside a VPC and then uh, just assume there is some uh, customer applications which is uh, writing to this MongoDB source and then uh, there is another uh, Amazon document DB uh, in a different uh, subnet in a particular same VPC yeah, uh, here you can see that there is a interim EC2 instance. Uh, this is optional. I am not going to create it because this is required. If you uh, uh, if you want, you can uh, uh, create a EC2 instance. But you know, I am going to uh, install the 3.6 as well, version 3.6 MongoDB in the EC2 machine. So I'll be um, doing the. I I will be try to connect to the uh, MongoDB. Um, Amazon document DB cluster from my EC2 machine itself which uh, consists of MongoDB source database. So I am omitting this uh, interim EC2 instance but definitely you can create it if you want. So here will be my uh, high level steps. Uh, at first prepare the source MongoDB and thereafter the dump the indexes and data to the EC2 machines using this Mongo dump tool. And then we will create the you know Amazon uh, document DB clusters is as a target. Then uh, as an optional step, as I said, the prepare an interim EC2 instance for Mongo restore. I am not going to create it because I'll directly uh, connecting from my source MongoDB EC2 machine to the my target, and then restore data to target using the Amazon uh, to uh, Amazon document DB cluster. So now uh, at the beginning uh, um, i'll be preparing my source mongodb instance and dam data so um, i'll be uh, launching an ec2 machines and install the mongodb 3.6 in the ec2 machine so i launch instance i'll create the amazon linux 2 review and launch Okay, on the next steps, I am going to uh, install the MongoDB version 3.6. So, I will choose 3.6 here. I will be installing on the Amazon Linux. So, at the beginning, I will be creating the repository file which will enable me to uh, install the MongoDB through YAM. So, copy this okay the since it is uh, you it's uh, through yum everything it will create automatically like the data files log files configuration files so I'll now the install the mongodb package through yum Okay, I'm going to start the MongoDB. Okay, you can see that I can directly. So 
so I can I, have, I can connect to the MongoDB now the next phase I am uh, going to load some sample objects so I am downloading the sample objects through wget now I am importing this So there are um, a lot of objects, um, items are there. So what I am uh, going to do right now, I will create a um, index and I will also create a user on that. Okay, check the index. This is created. Now the next steps I am going to create a user. my username is testdba let me try to log in with my user That's great. So what I did, I already installed the MongoDB 3.6 on my EC2 machines. I created users, I load the sample objects. And uh, since I don't have any uh, application, you have to assume uh, that since it is offline mode, you have to assume that, you know, I'll stop writing to the source so that, you know, I can dump the data using the MongoDB. Okay. So I can I can uh, use some kind of arguments like the um, DBs and the username and password, but I'll just take the Mongo dump as it is. So it's created the dump directory. It's created the metadata and the JIPs uh, dot. Uh, Bison file. Okay. So in the next steps, I am going to create a document DB cluster. So I'll launch a Amazon document DB. Put the name as a cloud by okay you can see that this is the list configurations I can choose uh, so it is dbr5 large let me put this uh, number of instances one username is test dba okay I'll show the advanced settings port everything should be good encryption enabled mm, maintenance only thing I'll disable the deletion protection this will take some couple of minutes uh, so I'll pause the video right now and I'll come back once it's done the Amazon document DVD cluster is ready so you can see that uh, the instance is also ready now in the connectivity and security sections you can see that you know what are the things are required since I enable the SSL I have to download the uh, the CA certificates and uh, thereafter that you know there is also everything is said how to connect you only provide the password here so let me download the CA certificate first Yeah. 
and I'll connect to the okay I am able to connect it doesn't have much things here so uh, this portion is also end now I'll going to the next portions next section um, now restoring the data to restore the data um, uh, at the beginning I have to install the uh, tool called Amazon document DB index tool and then first I'll uh, restore the index using this uh, document DB index tool and thereafter I will restore the data to the cluster using this mongo restore so let's proceed so here the uh, I, uh, as a prerequisite i am just installing the pip and then uh, pymongo pymongo uh, we also need to require the pymongo so i am installing the pymongo um, thereafter i am uh, uh, installing the uh, git and uh, the after the install the git I am also doing the git clone and uh, download the tool so I have already done the prerequisites and download the uh, the tool for uh, index restore So at the beginning uh, I have to also I have to check this compatibility so this is the command uh, uh, that show issues to check the compatibility so there is no incompatibility is found the next steps I will going to rest, uh, index restore for the indexes at the source to target. the host name so in this command uh, I have used uh, the host name of this uh, Amazon document DB uh, username passwords and um, uh, some of the security parameter like TLS TLS CA files which I have downloaded the CA certificates Okay. Mm, there is I missed some dash for port. Okay. Okay. So it's complete. It's successfully completed. It's um, successfully authenticated to database admin, and then uh, create the Jeeps DB and and added the index. So I'll try to connect it. And check that whether it is able to create the index. Yeah, you can see that that gif start uh, that index is already uh, now restored here. So that this uh, portion is also done the next portions I am going to restore the data to the cluster using mongo restore the last steps I'm going to restore the dump to the target document DB for that I am uh, using mongo restore this is the command I am going to use uh, this is uh, mongo restore and the host is the cluster endpoint of the target document DB uh, minus D is a uh, DB and uh, then it is since it is connecting through SSL and also I am passing this SSL uh, CA certificates I am also passing the username and passwords and chips and the directory the one thing I have to do that that is uh, since I already restored the indexes so there is an argument called no index restore okay is good yeah you can see that um, 
its restoration is done since I have passing this no register so it is uh, did not uh, register any indexes so now let me connect collections I'll also take a count so count is 29,353 let me take a count at my source So you can see that uh, both the count matches that means uh, I able to successfully uh, migrate the data from MongoDB to target Amazon document DB with an index. So uh, just as a summary uh, what I have done let me refresh once again um, this is our MongoDB source what I have done we have first take a um, we have first uh, install the mongodb on the EC2 machine version 3.6 then we'll uh, dump some of the sample data we create an index we create a uh, user on that then we install this uh, uh, the tool called document db restore tool and where we'll install the pip we install the uh, uh, other prerequisites and then we also install the um, SSL CA certificates for target document DB clusters then we'll check the connectivity from the EC2 machine to the document DB clusters then we also take a MongoDB dump and, and the next phase what we have done after installing this uh, document DB restore scripts we restore the index first at the beginning then we'll restore the data using this mongo restore so on the um, um, on my next video i am going to show you um, how to restore uh, the online method using this dms so please stay tuned and uh, check the next video thank you